What's up, beautiful people? It's your favorite YouTuber and podcaster here, Tina Renee. And part of my 2020 goals, guys, is to actually get out more in nature, see more of the world, give my children memories that will last a lifetime. So on today, I am showing you what we decided to do during our Christmas break. Our first trip on the map was the wonderful state of Texas. Come hiking with us as we visit Jacob's Well. Let's talk about the significance of Jacob's Well. When settlers first came upon Jacob's Well around 1850, they did not encounter a swimming hole like we see today. They discovered a magical fountain of beautifully clear water, 12 feet in diameter. They named it Jacob's Well because of its biblical magnificence. There is a 0 0.9 mile hike down to the well, so I would encourage you guys to wear some nice gripping shoes. I had on boots, honey, and was still sliding around in my hiking boots. So just make sure your, your shoes or your boots have a really good grip to it. As you can see, the entrance to get down there is really, really narrow, but you can take the trail that's on the opposite side and it'll get you down there as well. But me and my kids, we were able to fit through this little bitty entrance here. Director Greg Tatum has mapped the cave's system in the Jacob's Well Exploration Project. He discovered it plunges at 140 feet at its deepest point, 14 stories underground, underwater of course. There are two tunnels, Tunnel A and B. A is 4,300 feet long and B is 1,300 feet long. Jacob's Well has been flowing out of a natural underground reservoir known as the Trinity Aquifier for millions of years, an artisan spring revered by Native Americans for millennia. Reported as the second most dangerous swimming holes in the world. Do you think that stops the risk takers? Of course not. During the months of April to October, you can find Texans and people from all over the world visiting Jacob's Well to get that historical diving experience. 